Tenakoto Katua. Na mihi nui ki na mana whenua o tenei rohe, na ratu te mana, na ratu te whenua, he mi mahana motu ratu manaki. He ere mai te Māori me te moeotanga o tatu tipuna. E hia hia ana tatu e nei afina mo te ao nei. Tēnā hoki katoa te atiawa mo tō afina mai a matu. Ko nā alpst te pae maunga, ko iza te awa, ko waka rererererangi ao te aroa te waka, ko tia mana ao, E noho ana o ki te whanganui atara. E mihi ana ki taku whaiapo peni moto aroha. Ko Martin toko ingoa. Ko Tino. Hau tutu, aho. Kia ora katoa. So I felt like I wanted to do this because I've been in so many mihis and I always wanted to understand. And many of you have not been experiencing the culture of this land, and I hope that helped a little bit. Thanks for bearing with me. I don't want to start without acknowledging my privilege, privilege standing in front of you awesome people and also as a rich white male man. But my privilege also includes that I was I grew up in the very early days of the internet and I experienced an internet that was peer-to-peer, -peer, that didn't have monolithic companies selling your data and impeding upon your privacy. I was there when the web was born, and I witnessed how companies, which I shall not name, took control and to date have this control. And so I set upon the journey being a context switcher myself, who takes on way too many projects all the time and hardly ever sees any of them through to completion, <laughs> <laughs> onto a journey of re-decentralization. And I started working with people that care, that help re-decentralizing the web, such as Alana and her team, and such as many of you out there. As a matter of fact, when I came to New Frontiers seven months ago, I was going to be like all about decentralization until I realized that, first of all, a lot of you are too. So that is not a unique selling point that I had left. <laughs> and I also felt really, really small. And one of the sayings we had at the last New Frontiers was that if you think you are small, then try spending a night with a mosquito. <laughs> that really stuck with me and led to me registering with the EHF. And I joined Cohort 3. Hello. Kopa, kopa. <laughs> and during this process of application, which I think every one of you should do, sorry, EHF, <laughs> I learned that what it really makes me tick is that not only do I want to re-decentralize the web, I want to empower our children to become makers and not just takers of the technology that shapes their lives. And I want to do this through open source, open standards, open protocols, Everything I've ever done needs to go in this direction, and everything I will ever do, I will not back any business case that makes money of proprietary IP. I want to do this through education, projects such as Code Club Aotearoa, teaching small kids in school to get their hands dirty with tech, or tech kids who are doing maker spaces at conferences, or Chibitronics, paper electronics that make tech so accessible to people. And finally, we need to create alternatives, because we can't just say, don't do that, don't do that, similar to how you should put a compost bin in front of your yard and simply ask your people around you to donate your food waste. We should be using alternatives that are simply better, and the rest will follow. So my name's Martin Noreira, Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Tenakoto Katoa. <laughs> 